Hi, this video demonstrates how to insert a table of content and list of tables and list of figures. First, here's your first page of your dissertation and follow the format. Second page will be copyright page and make sure you use a page break to separate each page. To insert a page break, you go to insert page break. So this way it makes sure all the pagination looks right. So I'm going to scroll down signature page. Now abstract should be of its own page. Dedication is optional, but should be of its own page. And acknowledgement. So put your cursor at the beginning of it, the title and then go to insert and choose page break to put them in separate pages. Table content should be on its own page. So let's do a few more of this. List of tables should be on its own page. And list of figures. It can be tape. In Microsoft, they call it table of tables and table of figures, but let's use list of figures and list of tables. Now, chapter one should start in a new page. Okay, and then uh, all this first part before chapter one, the page number should be in Roman numeral. So here's how you insert Roman numeral, numeral to your dissertation. And first page should not have any page number. So go to the header or go to insert menu and choose page numbers. From here, you want to choose top page, right? And the format should be Roman numeral, lowercase, and start with I, I meaning one. Okay. And show page number, show number on the first page and check this. So it doesn't show page number on your title page. So right now this is done. So page first page doesn't have any page number. Second page start with two. Or oh, two II means page two, page three. So you'll look good. And when it comes to first chapter, the page number should be in Arabic number. So from here you want to insert a pay a section break. So let's go to insert menu on the top. Let's go to insert and then go to break and choose section break next page. That means right now it will have its own way to insert page number. So from chapter one, let's choose insert page number again. Go to insert menu and choose page numbers. And from again, top right. And format should be one, two, three Arabic numbers. Start at one, click OK. And show number on the page, first page. Yes, that's fine. Go. OK, chapter two should be on its own new page. So let's make sure we insert a page break. And now let's uh, do some formatting. So to make sure the title go through the page table content. You need to use the header format in Microsoft Word. So let's do that. Starting with abstract. Let's highlight the abstract and use go to home tab and choose heading one. Okay. And some if you if in different computer the heading one may have different uh, font. So you want to make make sure it's Time New Roman and 12 fonts. If it doesn't show the right font, right mouse click on the heading one and choose modify. And you can modify the fonts from here. Make sure it's Time New, New Roman, 12 fonts, uh, bold face, center, and double space. And make sure the color is black. Automatic usually it's black. So that should be good. Click OK. So now let's just do that for all other heading one. So make sure this is dedication is heading one. Acknowledgement should be heading one to chapter one is heading one. So statement on the province should be APA heading one. Bow face and title case and center. So you need to modify heading two in Microsoft. So let's go make sure it's center and bold and double space 
and that should be good. So let's click OK. So now they are in the form format com comply with APA heading one. So let's do that. So that's the same for all other subheadings. So now let's try to insert a table of content and see if it's and do that for all the rest, uh, all the chapter titles and all the and the references and appendixes. So now let's go to the page where you have table content. To so we put your cursor here at a blank spot and go to insert menu and choose index and tables. Let's just go with the um, let's go choose the table contents tab and let's go with heading one from templates or simple. Let's go with let's go with from template and let's go to modify. Make sure it's um, double space, it's not double space and align left. Roman numeral, change the font to Roman numeral and 12 font. So let's all change all this and that should be good. So click OK and OK and one more time. That's your table of contents. Voila, it looks wonderful. And now I can make this bold too. Okay, now with, when I click on list of table, there's nothing. So we need to do another list of tables and list of figures. How do we do that? That, mean, that means you had to insert captions to those table and figures in the right way. So let's go check it out. So here I have a table. So I select the whole table and control click to choose insert caption right here. So right now you say figure one. Now choose the label, change it to table. So it should say table one. So I can say participant demographics. Let's click OK. Okay, there's uh, table one, but it's not in APA format. In APA, the table itself should be bold and not italics. And the caption should be the next line. So don't do return. Let's do put your cursor with table one. At the end of table one and before your caption, hit down, uh, hold down shift key and hit return to force it return to the next line. So this way, when we do list of figures or list of table, they will stay um, at the same line. So I'll show you next. Let's do one more tables. Here's another. So let's click on this again and again, control, hold on control key and click. Left click, click is fine. And let's find insert caption. So this is table two. Uh, again, this is um, again another participant demographic. So, up, um, profile. I'm gonna just use a different term. And make sure you choose position above selected table here. And that's it. Again, you want to put your cursor before the caption, which is P participation here. So hold down Shift key and hit return. Okay, now let's see if we can insert this to the list of tables. I'm going to put my cursor wherever there's a blank spot and go to insert menu and choose index and tables. From here, I'm going to go to list of, of tables of figures, but I'm going to choose a table format. Here, you're, you might have uh, make sure it's double space. So you want, want to go to modify first and go to modify again to make sure it's double space, left align, uh, not bold face, time newman, time new roman, 12 font. So make sure you select this for table of figures and list of figures. Click OK and click OK again and then click OK. Now there's your tables, list of tables. Now let's do another one for list of figures. To insert the caption for list of figures, let's go to figure one, select the whole figure, hold on control key and left mouse click, choose insert caption from a pop-up window and make sure you choose figure 
and let's give it a number, give it a caption, and click OK. Now it's centered, so we need to make sure it's aligned left. So move it to the left, and we're going to separate figure number and the caption. So move your cursor to where the cursor, uh, where the beginning of the caption. Hold down Shift key and hit Return. So we had a line break. Let's move to the next figure. Again, select. This is created by Smart R, so you don't want to select individual boxes inside. Select the border, so the whole figure is selected. And Control click, Control, hold on Control key and left click, click to insert a caption. Again, make sure it's positions above selected items. Let's choose another caption. And click OK. And again, we want to use Shift Return to separate the figure number and the caption. OK, now let's scroll up to insert a list of figures in the table of content. So position your cursor to the left and go to Insert menu, choose Index and Tables. Now let's choose Tables of Figures and choose Figures. Make sure it's double space. If not, make sure you go to Modify and Modify again to ensure the font size, spacing, everything is correct. Choose OK and OK. And that's your list of figures. So you will do this at the very end. However, you want to do this first and then go back to format your figures and table in an APA format. I don't want to do, because the table itself should not be in bold. No, it should be in bold and should not be in italics. So I'm going to change the italics and make it bold. The reason I need to do the table, a, a list of figures on top first and do the format second is because if I do the formatting first, my list of table will have a bold face on a table. And that wouldn't look uh, consistent. So you want to keep your plain text without bold face. So I after I insert all list of figures, then I go come down to change uh, the tables. Make sure it comply with APA format. So again, I highlight, remove the italics, and make it bold. So that I do the same thing for figures. Remember, do this at the very end. And if you keep adding figures or tables, you can always go back to update the table list of tables and list of figures. How do you do that? Oh, I should not click on that because it's not all the all these page number and figure are linkable, are hyperlinks. It will take me to the actual page. You can right mouse click to update field. And if you add new figures, you just want to update. So you would click on update entire tables. Okay. And same thing for your table of contents. If you continue adding information to each chapters, you want to update your table of contents. So what you need to do is up, right mouse click and choose update field and choose update entire table. So whatever new subheading you have added or additional information you added, the page number will change accordingly. And that's it.